What if I told you you could train your dog to do this, or this, or that? Well, I was lucky enough to come across the old videos where I was teaching Sparky how to do this rear on a basketball trick, and so I decided to share the entire process with you guys start to finish and explain what's happening in the video, why I'm doing this in the video, and how to do it yourself. The first step that I chose in training this trick was simply training an on and off cue. This gives the dog clarity for when I ask him to go on and off the object and for a specified amount of time without directly asking for duration. Uh, this also builds a little bit of confidence being on an elevated object for a couple of seconds or 30 seconds or whatever it has been. And it also builds a little bit of core strength, which you definitely need if you're going to do the basketball balance trick. It's just undeniable. You need to build that strength and confidence in order to get them to uh, perform. Okay, so now that we have practiced our on and off cues and we have a little bit of core strength built up and confidence built up, now we can stabilize the base of the basketball either with a dog bowl or we can use our feet to do just the same job and we can start off by just doing pause up a few times and if you really need to you can go back and practice with the stool with pause up as well but if they're really struggling at this point in time you may need to go back to the stool so in this uh, particular clip I'm just asking him to do pause up and then an on in between so that he builds his confidence and I'm making sure that he does get rewarded for really attempting what I'm asking him to do which is to completely get up there. And I did find out later that this basketball was just a little bit older and I ended up switching basketballs because a newer and inflated basketball with brand new grooves on it was just easier to grip on. Good dog. Good. Oh. Okay, this is the final and the hardest and the longest step. You're going to be building their core strength with the on and off commands, but also you're going to be continually rewarding them to stay in place as well as teaching a safe exit. And a safe exit looks like just letting their feet down rather than jumping off. A lot of dogs are going to just try and jump off, but you absolutely do not want that. That could cause injury. That could be really bad for the dog. So you want to teach them that whenever they exit by just letting their feet down, that that is the correct way to do it. They're going to get rewarded for doing that every single time. And so, yeah, you're just going to sit there, reward staying on the object and exiting appropriately. Thanks for watching our tutorial video. If you got any value out of it, please be sure to like and subscribe. It supports the channel for free, and I will see you guys in the next video.